Okay, I'm out here finally. And thanks, uh, WT, WTB. I'll get. I'm getting it wrong. You know who you, who you were that said something. I'm gonna check the fuel pressure now and see if it's holding fuel pressure. So we'll get you set up here. Okay, I got the key. Almost 60 pounds. There we go. One test I was told to do. Shut it off. And see if it holds or see how fast it goes down. Uh, open this door. It's dropping. It's dropped five pounds already, hasn't it? Okay, you guys keep an eye on that for a second. I'm gonna another tool set I got over here. part of the video is in real time so how long I've been I pulled the dipstick I don't smell gas in the oil but we did drop 40 2 4 6 8 10, 50 We did drop eight pounds there after turning the key off. <sighs> Looks like it's going down some more, so. Okay, something's not holding. That's starting to tell me fuel pressure regulator. Or there's a problem with one of the spiders, so. Yep, there it goes. It's going down. And it's just dropping, dropping, dropping. All right. Well, I guess well, I'll, I'll let it go for a little longer. It's nice outside, but the bugs are buggy, so I'm going to get a fan so I'm going to blow the bugs away. So just keep watching.
this is where a bigger building would be. The cat's meow, but deal with what you got. All right, how much more have we got down? What are we down? Oh. We're down to 40 to 4. Now I'm watching it drop now. All right, well. That definitely tells me I got a fuel problem, don't I? So, all right. Well, here's the quickest way to see down inside what's going on. Guess what I find? Look at how wet that is. On that side, dry on the one side. So, I guess we'll be pulling that. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Looks like I got, I don't know. Anyway, all right. I don't know if you guys like being with me or what, but uh, anyway, I just found something interesting. Uh, that feels tight. Oh, I see what the problem is. Uh, somebody put the clamp on this upside down. So because the lines are not fully down in the spider. You hear fluid running, it's the antifreeze and bring that down. I'll show you here what I'm talking about. Didn't know what they were doing. Uh, look, at, look at how far up those are sitting. So this should have been put on like this to push those lines down. But it wasn't leaking, so that's a good thing. Um, yeah. So, yep. You gotta pay attention which, bracket, which way your brackets go, so. Tells me somebody other than me has been in here. And you know, last week I didn't pull the intake because I found the thing. Then she straightened up and ran them for a week, so. But we're going to be putting it on now. Alright. Okay. These up here are fairly dry. Everything back here. And you look at the back side of this thing, too. But. That one's soaked. That one's soaked. So, I know we can replace these injectors, but by the time you start replacing them, you're better off to buy the whole damn thing. So, let's see. Let's see what we can. That one. A lot of crud around that one, ain't there? I'm trying to see what you guys are saying. There's those two. Those guys are really nice and clean. So, oh, so. I don't know if I've found my complete problem yet or not. Yeah, I got this going because those little tiny itty bitty biting pissing bugs are out, but oh, there, there, from from here 
I'm back. That all is wet. And up front, it's nice and dry. So, yeah. I'm not exactly sure, and I see that fluid sitting there. Another guy, well, Mr. Monte Carlos Tahoe said, he said he had the same exact problem I did. Started missing, popping, banging. Ended up three of them had pinholes in it. So, uh, that's as far as I'm going because I don't have another spider around or any parts. Which ain't good. And I dumbed out. Yeah, I didn't need to pull the antifreeze out. Well, yeah, I did because I didn't want it running out here. Just get that hose out of the way, so. I just dumped that back in, but anyway. Yeah. I don't know if I want to mess with pulling the plugs or not. Well, I'm probably going to have to because I got fuel soaked plugs, so I'm going to have to pull the plugs, but. I better check the weather forecast because if it's supposed to rain, I got to figure out how to protect the water from getting in here, even with the shut hood. So if he's come down last night, I'd probably get in there. So, yeah, and I unplugged all this so I can get the wiring loom up out of the way. It hasn't really taken us that long. I wish I would have timed it, but I didn't. But yeah, so it looks like three, five, and seven, and eight were my wet cylinders. Don't make any sense to me, but... So I don't know if the lower intake gaskets were redone and that's why stuff wasn't put on right or not. So anyway, I guess I gotta find a home for all the parts. <laughs> so, all right. Oh, I'm getting eight alive out here. I'm getting eight alive out here. Oh, Jesus. That hurts. Anyway, well, this is interesting. I found out I had E362 plugs in here. Oh, excuse me, sorry. That, number one wasn't bad. Three wasn't bad. Five was wet. They've dried off some. But I just pulled out the passenger side ones. Um, now they're drying out as fast. Okay. Eight was soaked, uh, six was soaked, and two was soaked. That god dang spider injection. He he wanted to replace one injector at a time until he seen the price of them. He's like, holy crap! I got a new spider assembly coming. And I'm still going, holy crap! It's $300 I ain't got! Plus I'm going to put plugs and wires in this now. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's got to stop. So, yeah, I'm just not wondering about that thing. Um, I moved, went to move it the other day. I don't know if it's really the completely the spider setup in that one, too. Or not, because um, fuel pump's making noise in that. So i got to put a fuel pump in that. I mean, that's another $500 to get that thing running. Yeah, dang it. The scrap iron's not that high right now. Otherwise, a lot of these would just go and get crushed. So, I don't know. I'm bitching a little bit. Uh, I gotta bitch up. This has been. And then, uh, this is what I told him too. And yeah, maybe now. Maybe it ain't so bad. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It looks. That's the gas that come out when I relieve the pressure. Oh, and I told him about that I did the pressure test and then it started dropping. He says, "Yeah, you got something wrong with that spider." So I told him. I, he's starting to wonder if I got some bad gas or or somebody's messed with the vehicle. I don't know. I found out somebody that I've had trouble with in the past has been hanging around my neighborhood. 
not saying that's the problem, but uh, I mean, how does a vehicle go from running so good? And I know they're man-made and can and will fail, but this thing I've put, I've put. I was looking at that. I was really surprised how many miles I put on this two, this training I got already. I've already gone 15,000 miles on this tranny since I put it in. And in, in, in this last um, thousand miles, she started giving me fits. So, I don't know. It just, a lot of things don't make sense. And here is what I'm talking about getting eight by. I'll show you. A little black thing there hurts and you, they don't bite you they actually pee on you and they burn you with that so turn the key backwards so I don't activate the pump close the windows because this truck is look at those little things they're just running all over the inside of the truck uh, out I'll carry their little red wagon. I got some good bug spray. So, yeah. And seeing that this intake's been off and things weren't, how, uh, things weren't quite put together right. I don't know. And I'm sure when we put this training in, we did not mess with well, We didn't have to mess with that because, hey. Right. So, yeah. I guess. And I'm just praying it don't rain tonight. Yeah. Now, I swear, when I looked in there, that grain of freeze looked green in there. But that sure as hell is orange. I'll have to get my strainer, strain that and dump it in something so I can dump it back in the truck. Anyway, I guess that's all the damage we can do for this until I get some parts. Ah, speaking of that, I better make my list. Alrighty, I've done enough damage to our truck. I'll give you guys a proper ending to the video tonight. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, there's the 327. There's the Mr. Monte Carlo motor. And, uh, I have a dead truck. Very dead truck now. All eight plugs are out of it, and, um, yes. After I'm all done doing this, I will change the oil in it just to make sure, because it's, well, it's time for its oil change anyway. And that's what I mean. That truck hasn't been using oil. It's been running great. And then this. So. Anyway, I guess with that, we're going to call it a day. Get the heck out of here. Maybe go to the treadmill yet. Yeah, I've been going. It's getting a little easier. I mean, if you, I guess you guys can't see it, but I can. I can. When, if I didn't have my beard on, I think I'm actually starting to get a neck. Ouch. Oh, Those little baby bugs. They're all over me. I think I even ate a few of them. Yeah. But anyway, I guess... I can get down there and get the parts tomorrow. Uh, I'll do that and put her hopefully back together tomorrow and it'll be running like it's supposed to again. If not, I don't know. I don't know. I'm about ready to send this truck down the road. It's, it's been a fun truck. So I don't know kind of got something working in the background don't know have to wait and see how it happens uh, well yeah I'll have to think about that anyway <laughs> see y'all later have a good one thanks everybody for the help so far so I guess uh, shit happens and like I've said in a couple of posts at least it happens to my stuff instead of the customer stuff so anyway See you later.